<laughs> Yo, what is up everybody and welcome to another feature video. Today I'm joined by Nate over here and we've got his behind me 520 brake horsepower R32 turbo. Nay, thank you for being on the channel, oh, sir. Man, How are you? Me. Thank oh, you for journeying down. I know it's a right, mate. Yeah, little yeah. bit of a journey for you. That's Can you show me around this insane machine that you've yeah, built sure, here, please, yeah, sir? Yeah. Um, we'll start off with the looks, okay. and we'll, we'll we'll first cover this, right. because right, people okay. are going to ask, right. <laughs> why am I fingering your arch, and why can I get fingers in there? But right. you have got a valid excuse. I have got a valid excuse. Uh, mainly to do with power and the way it goes down, and I've had back surgery. So I've had to go back to Volkswagen Racing Suspension, so it had to go up a little bit. It was just killing me, I was on gas shocks. I had some gas shocks, because uh, they're in Essex, aren't they? And I, uh, the car was nice on them, it just was killing me to ride. So, back surgery, bad back, yeah. plus coilovers, does not equal no, no, not. any form of actual enjoyment. I can completely understand you going back to the racing suspension on these, and you said they're like a variant of Bilstein B8s or something, right? Something like that, yeah, very similar. I think when you um, you want to get replacement OEM ones, Bilstein B8s would be, the ones I would replace with. I managed to get another set because I originally sold mine. The reason I went to Coilovers originally is because they, they split. So I went to Coilovers as a cheaper option at the time and I just stayed with Coilovers and then I got the gas shocks yeah. to upgrade. And then it was just like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, yeah, of course. Anything I've kept with the gas shocks is the uh, adjustable rear dampening. Okay. So I've kept the rear absorbers on. Yep. Just put the racing springs back in. So it's raised the back end and I put, uh, I think, Polo 6M2 top cups to get it just a little bit lower but again i'm happy with it sits now it keeps it cool yeah and comfortable <laughs> comfortable yeah because i've got these are srs tech uh five glass wide rings from germany cool uh typical mark four mark four's rock like hell but uh, it's got no arch liner so it just helps aids with the cooling of the twin intercoolers i got under there anyway yeah cool. yo what's up everyone sorry for interrupting this video don't have a sponsor today so i want to plug ourselves a little bit if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. This is something we're going to be doing a lot more of, car features just like you're watching. In the last video, we did have a competition, and the winner of the gloves is somewhere... Ta-da! Well done. And today, we are once again giving away another T-shirt. So you might enter this by accident, and you might end up winning something completely free. Uh, we're going to be giving away our new shark... Well, we call it the Street Racing Sharks design. So as you can see, it's a super nice, cool logo that's uh, all brand new for 621. So all you have to do to enter, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and please make sure you subscribe for much more content coming soon. See you guys later, back to the video. Yeah, cool. So it keeps the Porsche brakes nice. Oh, see, cool. BBS wheels. Yeah, BBS CKs. They're very, very nice, and a nice color as well. What what color even is that though? I can't. Right, so I got it, the guy did my powder coat up in Laugh, he was like, check on this website. So that's it's prismatic colors out in America, so we get his powders from. So it's gone there and I wanted like a C-Pang originally, like a BMW colour, like a bronze, but it's been done. And I said, oh, about this, it's got a gold, in gold. These, and this, yeah, yeah, it's got a gold flecking in these light conditions, they look green. But when you put the, a light on it, in the, in, the, in the summer when it's really bright, it's a gold fleck, it really pops. Yeah, yeah, they're really so they nice. they really dark now, then in the summer they, they pop out quite light. You've also got hiding away behind the BBS's huge Porsche calipers. What are they off of? Uh, KN. They're a KN, yeah, are they? Yeah, KN, yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a a done thing really of these when you charge them if you supercharge or turbo is whack some bigger brakes on just bigger stoppers yeah. you go from like four pot to, to six yeah um four i think it was but yeah you just yeah you, you need it you do need it because you've got to think about how am i going to stop because you get yeah. you get it uh, like over 100 mile an hour pretty quick you know if you're going to germany and that you, you're rapid you just got to be able to stop quick, yeah yeah so. definitely but yeah definitely. that's that was the way forward on that one and as we walk around the car it's, you've kept it looking relatively standard obviously you've done the um bonnet lift over there for the cooling cooling yeah yeah so also you've kept the looks relatively standard is this rear bumper standard though yeah so front rear bumpers uh, standard yeah because i've i can't i mean i don't think i've seen many of these so like that's a really that looks like an aftermarket rear bumper no yeah so because the the chassis obviously when they put made them on the production line the, the chassis that is in of five doors i didn't make many five doors the majority of them you'll see on the road are blue three doors, three doors and yeah. there's red ones knocking around but um sort of five door and it's basically just a normal golf with the engine chucked in racing suspension and the body kit so uh -huh. that's completely like from the spoiler to the, to the bumper yeah standard yeah so you've got the but the grey rear lights, like yeah, the all colours, are off the market. Yeah, and oh. then I've got some US spec ones, so they're all redded out. Uh huh. A lot of people do that. Mark IV Golfs. Uh, I've got them. I just fancy something different, and these are quite rare to get hold of. Uh, so I managed to get a set from Germany. Mm -hmm. so, they're yeah, really nice. Yeah, I think they look nice. To yeah, me too. And also, you've got carbon. Yeah, this is carbon fuel cap. skin. Yeah, yeah. This is carbon skin. That's uh, awesome. Carbon skin badge. Obviously. Uh, 
smooth the boot, uh, the boot off the handle. I really like the Turbo Rabbit <laughs> badge. That's jokes. Yeah, That's really cool. From Germany, but yeah, I had the boot. The boot's been repaired multiple times with uh, dissimilar metal corrosion from the handle. Uh -huh. They always rot in the corners on Mark IVs. I got fed up of it, so it's gone. I've got boot pop on. I've got boot pop on the button, boot pop on my fob. I can smoke them as well. Anything that's Mark <laughs> seven I can have. Um, but yeah, it, it works really well for me. Obviously, de wipered it. Um, the standard sort of stuff you do to to coast, really. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to pop that uh, bonnet for us so we can check out where the magic yeah, yeah, really yeah, happens? Yeah, yeah. All right. So under here. <laughs> Yeah. Can you please talk me through this power chamber? Yeah, right. So, um, obviously, naturally aspirated. They make about 240 brake from factory. Uh, this isn't the engine that was originally in this. Uh, my friend built it, and he had it in his blue chassis one. Uh, he's had this pulling 11 seconds at Santa Pod in his blue one. Dynoed at 520, uh, pulling 664 newton meters of torque. I mean, the only thing he's had done really to the internal, obviously, space plates lower compression. And it's got the, the bigger turbo, the, the GT35 from HTP in the back. So the kit comes out that you need to, to basically do this. And yeah, so we, we did a swap uh, and now it's in this and it's absolutely insane. It really is. And it, it's actually quite reliable, apart from us spitting out a bolt on the way here <laughs> last night. It's um, it's fine. It's absolutely, I think because he's had it for so long, he nailed out the, do you know what I mean? All the running in issues of like yeah. making power, I want more power blah 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 it's this where it is now i mean it is expensive i can't i can't launch it currently with the standard gearbox it'll just spit the gears out um that's the next project i've got gears at home in my lounge waiting cool um it's a two thousand pound clutch sack single mass fly in the paddle thing it mm -hmm. just so it's heavy on the foot yeah so eventually i will be able to launch it proper uh, and maybe get a flat shift put in as well so flat yeah. shift is like well you probably know yourself yeah it's like, it's like DSG, but with a manual, it's so much, it's so much quicker. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Well, yeah. the drive up here it definitely was scary. So I yeah, it's, it's loud. It's loud without being too loud, and then when you yeah. boot it, it's uh, obviously straight through to two silences at the back. So everything's custom. Everything from like here on backwards is all custom. At the time, especially made three inch straight through. Inside the car as well. Do you want to hop in there with me real yeah, quick? Because yeah, yeah. I want to show you some stuff. Yeah, the, the audience and stuff inside here. So, cockpit. You've got this really nice steering wheel. Is this a Mark IV, like, R1 that's been redone, like, recently? Yeah, so um, I had this done recently, the year during lockdown. So I was off to uh, the Nürburgring. Uh-huh. Um, obviously, spicy flu ruined that, so I had some <laughs> money, so I got the wings sorted. And, yeah, I got this retrim by uh, Royal Stearns in Aylesbury. That's really nice. It's just, it was looking a bit tired after, f like, 15 years. Mm -hmm. It was like, it was ready for a retrim. It was going to be Alcantara, but he said, no, no, Alcantara wears not real, very well. Yeah, real Especially fast. with oily hands, mm -hmm. so uh, it's gone for leather. So it just freshens it up a little bit. I've spent a lot of money with other bits. I wanted the interface between me and this to be a bit better than what it was. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's fully understandable. And then you have this very interesting computer yeah. system up here. <laughs> now, that I thought this might be some, like, digital ECU dash type thing, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it isn't. So no. can you explain what this is? So HPA, a uh, tuning company in America, North America, they... Um, they've got HTP but they do stuff in, on, in the states for turbos and stuff this is a diff controller for the Gen 1 Haldex so basically um, normally the car's not four wheel drive all the time it's like probably about 70-30 split something like that I'm not entirely sure but then uh, this thing it's like buying if people out there know what a blue and orange controller is for the Haldex this thing lets you with a standard controller piggyback it wirelessly controlled by this by this tablet and you can just select different modes so dynamic does everything from economy through to sport mode and then race speed is basically a custom setting where you can actually set the levels of where the Haldex kicks in. So you have a Santa pod, mm -hmm. you want all four wheels driving you off the line. As you get to 60 foot, you can like, spin back the power yeah, a bit. Yeah, so yeah. it's all front wheel drive, so you lose no power in that respect. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's super cool to see that. You obviously also got like a, is that an Apple Play or like a, like a double din type? Oh, that's the Pioneer Apple Play. Yeah, 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 yeah. just a better interface. Yeah, it just makes that's, it. Just because the car's that old and the original GPS, you couldn't update anymore, so. I think that's one of the things that I'm really enjoying about technology is that you can have your car from a set generation that doesn't have mm. that tech ever considered to have in it and you just buy something like that and all of a sudden you've well, got yeah. every technology on your phone straight well, it's on that, the dash. And it's like, like the dash as well. Oh yeah, this is something we mod. wanted to have a look at too, this dash mod thing. Yeah, so, so it's, it's like a Mark 7 dash, so basically it takes out the MFD, the, the black and the red sort of standard stuff you see in Volkswagens of this era, like, and you, it's fully customizable, works off the stalk and it's basically set the parameters you want on the screen Obviously, I've got boost pressure, but and then you've got like um, fat come on the fly, 
That's so cool. So you can fix faults as, as and when. And what's really. that? Is that a... That's oil pressure. So Sorry, oil pressure I can't gauge. See it from where I'm That's right, mate. Oil pressure gauge is uh, again just because it's a VR6 mm -hmm. and they struggle with oil pressure now and again. They don't want to boot it until the oil's nice and warm and you've got good pressure. So yeah, yeah, cool. So yeah, once again, I just wanted to point out you obviously got the bonnet razor on the car, and that's for for cooling, right? Mainly when you stood still, like or you're Santa Pod or anywhere like that. I've, I've noticed like intake temps get really, really high. Yeah. Uh, obviously, a bit of air will get down and through, but it's mainly just to get some of the heat out of that engine bay. Yeah. It really does get hot. And then oh, got some water on the lens. How annoying! And then we've got the uh, the cool like headlights. Like I think these aren't OEM, right? Like, no, no. So they come with Xenon from factory. All our 32s in Europe come with Xenon as factory. They're LED projectors now. So cool. A friend of mine, he modifies headlights. He basically takes them, strips them, does them to the order. Anyway, I've done a set, a couple of sets myself, but he's better at doing like actual like bigger projectors, putting the yeah. LED system in. You do get a bit of mist in because they have been split in two, but uh, I think they're really cool to be fair. Yeah, so yeah. It's bright sweet. on the road over Xenon. Sweet. Yeah. Right, so I think it's time for us to hop in the car, learn a bit more about the story and feel how fast this thing is. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe right now. Subscribe right now before the video carries on. It means a lot to me and hopefully I can bring you many more features like this that will be entertaining. Um, it's just very, very cold right now. So should we hop in the car? Let's do it. <laughs> When it comes to Volkswagens for me, I like old, low stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, I like Mark 1s, Mark 2s, Caddies, like Corrado, stuff that captures my eye and I go, oh, that's kind of cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've never really gone down the performance Volkswagen route. So. I mean, performance Volkswagen route, I mean, you can do all sorts of these. I mean, people charge them, people turbocharge them. There's, a, there's an option for water math in this if you wanted to. Okay. Um, 
you any limited by like your running gear, the engine will pump and pump. You just need to like think internals, think stopping, how am I gonna stop, how am I gonna cool it down? So you could go as far as you want. I know I've got friends running twin turbos, these ones with twin turbos in. Right. They're now insane. It makes this look like a baby. Right. 520 horses, they've got yeah. like 700. Right, okay. uh, Lambo killers really. Um, it, it's one of them, you could just go and go and go with it. Bigger exhaust, bigger map. <laughs> Name it bigger injectors. It's got six thirty cc injectors now. Yeah. So you can just, you can just keep on going and going and going. Yeah, it's very cool, man. Well, I do. I tell you what, it has really surprised me on how absolutely terrifyingly fast it is. Yeah, is it? It was very. It, this is like. This is very fast, like serious speeds, sort oh, yeah. of fast, and yeah, yeah it's uh, very very cool. What's the favourite mod you've done to it out of all of the bits? Is it the engine? I'd assume the engine. Yeah, be. the engine. It just. Well, listen to the turbo, I mean, it's no real lag. <laughs> oh, it's so fast, it's making me feel a bit sick. I mean, it hasn't even got a pop and bang map, or whatever you want to call it. it I'm so glad just, it doesn't, though. It just does it. Yeah. I mean, and you've I mean, always been into your cars, haven't you? Have you oh, it? yeah, yeah. Those, yeah, so motorbikes first, and then yeah, I cut my teeth as an engineer on like Volkswagen Beetles, air cool stuff, and then got to add Lupos, Ops, Passats, Corrado. Pull a Mark II Golds. Yeah, so, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's yeah, been, yeah. This has been the dream for me to get 32. So. Well, it's hit and it's real. It so, is, mate, I yeah. love that. Cool, man. All right, sweet. Wow, this is some machine. Nay, thank you so much for coming right. out today. Where can people find you, dude? Uh, yeah, so I'm on Instagram, uh, Spartan R32T. Uh, it's going to be down there yeah. next year, right? Yeah, now. I'm not on Facebook really, it's only for Marketplace, but uh, yeah, I'm on, I'm on there. So you see all my car stuff. Uh, Car stuff, bike stuff, to build bikes as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lifting and all that sort of Lifting, stuff. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much for taking me out in this 520 brake horsepower R32 Turbo. It was, it is very impressive. It's a very impressive machine, and the the, the feeling, the pat when that power delivery goes through you, wow, it makes your stomach turn. Um, I think we're going to end the video here. So please make sure you subscribe. We really appreciate that. Leave us a comment down below what you think of this sort of power coming out of a machine like this. Absolutely insane, but I don't think we're done because I want to get some more clips of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we think we need to get some more of them for you guys. So you'll have seen them already. So make sure you subscribe. Appreciate this for me. <laughs> Thanks guys. Leave a like and I'll see you again in the next video. Peace.